I'm Dr. Mary Favier. I'm a general practitioner here in Cork City. So we're in the suburb of, of Farnry for Hill, the Surgery Surgeries Parklands. And the practice here is, is here near the best part of 30 years. I'm here 24 years. So yeah, really solid, settled area, suburban, uh, urban deprived. So we're a deep end practice. And really, you know, to work here, you need to have an interest in what makes a community like this tick. What are the challenges? What are the particular needs uh, of, of a community who have multimorbidity at a much earlier age? So we would often have our diabetics starting in their 40s as opposed to their 50s and 60s, the hypertensives, the COPDs. Uh, so there's some challenges there. The other side of that, of course, is it's a really great place to work you know, fantastic patients, really involved, committed, salt of the earth, couldn't ask for better really. The, the deep end concept came from Scotland and is about the fact that if you extrapolate healthcare needs versus resources versus opportunities, they, there's a straight line basically like that. And this part of the graph looks like the deep end of a swimming pool. And sometimes it feels like working in the deep end of a swimming pool in terms of trying to stay afloat and the workload and, and make a difference to that group of patients. I think COVID showed that general practice is, is a platform. And we, we don't want to be consultants. We're specialists in general practice. We're specialists in people's lives. We're specialists in their lives from the cradle to the grave. All bits, warts and all, presented in whatever way a patient sees fit to present it in whatever language, with whatever health literacy skills, descriptions that they can use. So I think we, we discovered, we, 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 it's not that we discovered, we knew it. But, and I think GPs became proud of what they do and the, the, you know, the description of just a GP receded and is, is of little relevance anymore because we learned that we're probably the most important doctors in any patient's life because we travel on the journey with them. You're good, bad and indifferent. We're always there before the hospital referral, we're there after the hospital referral. We put all the bits together interpret, you know, give an understanding and move to the next issue as appropriate. And return to things, knowing people's backgrounds and histories and who they're in a relationship with, who they've split up from, how many kids they have, the fact that they had a stillbirth, the fact that they had infertility issues, the fact that they have a child with special needs, the fact that they've got aging parents, all the things that inform your knowledge of a patient as they walk in the door. So yes, I'm quite happy to be just a GP. It's, it's an important job and it's one that gives me huge satisfaction. And it gives me satisfaction, I think, because I know I make a difference. Once you apply to become a GP, you will never be bored in GP training. You'll always find it interesting. But more importantly, from the day you become a GP in a practice full time and the list is yours or you're not a trainee anymore, this is it, you're the GP, you're the doctor you will rise to that challenge, you will always find it interesting and each day you will get that reward. There will be challenges, there may be some difficult days, you are likely to always have colleagues as most group practices are now group practices and I think you can at the end of any professional working day or working week say yes that was a good choice, I'm glad I did that because you will have a level of expertise in so many different subjects. You will actually know something about almost everything. It's often stated that consultants need to know more and more about less and less. But as GPs, we need to know more and more about more and more. But that's the reward, that's the challenge, that's what makes it interesting. And yes, I think I would really encourage people to apply. I don't think you'll ever regret it.